trochlea now, so it is a supratrochlear triangle. It's a very narrow triangle. Then you have the infratrochlear triangle, which is between, this is the fourth nerve. This is the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. So this infratrochlear triangle is also called as the Parkinson's triangle. Okay, this is also called as the Parkinson's triangle. So here you have the uh, carotid and the origin of the meningohypophyseal trunk also occurs here. So this is the infratrochlear triangle or the Parkinson's triangle between the fourth nerve and the medial border of the fifth nerve or medial border of the ophthalmic division. It is called as the infratrochlear triangle. So if you drill this triangle, you will enter into the mucosa of the sphenoid sinus. Then you have the anterior medial triangle. So these are the triangles of the cavernous sinus. Now we'll enter the triangles of the middle cranial fossa. These are the middle cranial fossa triangles. You have two anteromedial and anterolateral triangles and a posteromedial and posterolateral triangles. The anteromedial triangle is between the uh, B1 and B2, the ophthalmic and maxillary division. So it is a triangle between the ophthalmic and the man, uh, maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve, B1 and B2. And uh, here the line, uh, the third line corresponds to the between the superior orbital fissure and the foramen rotundum. So this is the triangle. So this is the anteromedial triangle. And then here is the anterolateral triangle, which is between the maxillary and the mandibular division between B2 and B3. And the third boundary is between the foramen ovale and the foramen rotundum. Foramen rotundum through which the V2 or maxillary division exits and foramen ovale through which the V3 or the mandibular division exits. So between these uh, two is the anterolateral triangle. So drilling these two triangles, you will again enter into the mucosa of the sphenoid sinus. So then the posterior triangles of the uh, middle cranial fossa, you have posterior medial and posterior lateral. The posterior lateral triangle is called the glass box triangle. The posterior medial triangle is also called as the cabasis triangle. Okay. So this is the greater petrosal, greater superficial petrosal nerve, which we have seen previously. So greater superficial petrosal nerve joins with the lesser superficial petrosal nerve to form the nerve of pterygoid canal or the median nerve. Okay, so this is the greater superficial petrosal nerve. So this is the posterolateral triangle. So this posterolateral triangle is bounded by the greater superficial petrosal nerve here. The part of the lateral part of the mandibular division below the point of transection of the greater superficial petrosal nerve and the B3. Okay. So it is bounded by the greater petrosal nerve and the bone, uh, lateral part of the V3 below the point of intersection of the greater superficial petrosal nerve with V3. Okay, here the uh, content, uh, this, it, this is the middle meningeal artery which passes through the foramen spinosum. The foramen spinosum is here. The middle meningeal artery exits the cranial cavity or enters the cranial cavity through the foramen spinosum within the postulateral triangle. So if you drill this triangle, if you drill this glass box triangle, if you drill this posterolateral triangle, you will enter into the infratemporal fossa. Okay, you will enter into the infratemporal fossa. So then this is the posteromedial triangle. Posteromedial triangle also called as the cavasis triangle. So the cavasis approach is concerned with the anatomy of this posteromedial triangle. Okay. So uh, this is a posterior medial triangle bounded by, so this is the petrous apex, the arcuate eminence which is coming here. And this is the lateral part of the V3 uh, above the point of transection of the greater superficial petrosal nerve. And the other end is the greater superficial petrosal nerve. So the Kawasis triangle is bounded by the lateral part of the uh, mandibular division above the point of transection of the greater superficial petrosal nerve. And on the other side is the a greater superficial petrosal nerve. So here in uh, this part lies the cochlea, the lateral apex, uh, the cochlea lies in the lateral apex, whereas the petrous carotid lies in this part. The medial part of the triangle is occupied by the petrous carotid. Okay, this is the petrous carotid.